Hola, buenas noches. Good evening, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, your girl, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And I want to set up a traveler's happy planner today. I'm visiting my boyfriend in Austin, Texas uh, next week. And I want to bring my planner with me. But I don't want to bring my entire planner stack. I'm actually trying to pack really, really minimally this trip. And so I want to bring as little as possible. Um, I'm trying to fit everything I need for an entire week in just a carry-on and a backpack. And I want to bring my planner. I do not want to leave it behind. I am a planner babe. I need my planner with me. Um, not only because I just love it, but I am also going to be working. It's going to be a working uh, visit. Like, I am going for a week, but I'm still trying to work during the weekdays. I'm not bringing every single one of my planners, but I am going to bring a couple. And I am trying to set up some kind of jury rigged planner system where I am taking the pages I want, but I'm not necessarily taking the entire situation set up. It's going to be a little bit tricky because I do have three different sizes of happy planner, and I do want to bring, um, a couple of pages from each one so i'm gonna have to have a big a classic and a mini um with me so first things first i do want to take um i do want to take a couple of pages from my catch-all so this is my catch-all big i'm thinking of taking just popping out um this month of may here so let me pull out this month I'll pull out the bookmark and so I'm going to be um, heading out on the 18th and I'm coming back on the 25th so I'm thinking of just taking this month with me here so I'm gonna pull this out because I do want to write like on the monthly and I also want to write you know obviously on the week the week spread that I'm there and I also want to use this um, this page and I probably want to use this page as well as things come up I can start writing them down here in my planner so I want to take this entire planner section the month of May and take it out here and then this is the other big planner I use this is my education my teaching and service work and I'm also gonna be taking I'm gonna be taking I think the entire month here so let me take out just this month here um, that way I can just you know just take the whole little package here um, even though I'm only gonna be using this this weekly spread and then this one but I'll just keep this one with me in case you know I need it and you know, I just want to kind of take the whole package so they're not kind of floating around all weird. So there we have that one. Let me put this one to the side. And I'm thinking of using this, um, uh, this planner here to tuck my planner pages in. You know what? I changed my mind. I was going to tuck them into this notebook here and then just take the notebook but I don't want to take all this filler page with me because I'm not going to use it. The only reason I was going to tuck them into here was so that it would be protected. But I'm thinking of just honestly being super minimal and chaotic and just taking these pages and putting them into this folder here like so and just taking the folder like this this is a folder from the university of san diego i'm actually an adjunct faculty instructor at the university of san diego so that's why i have this folder i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this folder so we'll just have that and then in terms of what i have for classic the only three classic um happy planners i want to bring are 
these for? Well, I mean not bring them, but that I want to bring some pages. So my meal planner, keeping track of what I'm eating in here. My budget planner, keeping track of what I spend, which is kind of really important for me, especially when I'm traveling because I tend to, you know, spend a lot when I'm traveling. And my fitness planner because I still want to keep on, you know, my fitness routine while I'm away. I think it's really important to, um, to make sure that that is, you know, continuing to happen even if I'm not at home. And this is my work planner. So I'm thinking of taking my work planner, but I am thinking of um, pulling out some pages and then putting in some of the pages from here. So let's see, I think what I might do is I might pull out these pages. So these are the dashboard pages that I've been using for my teaching position. And I think what I'm gonna do is transition all of my teaching stuff into that, um, into this big happy planner here. And so I don't think I'm gonna need this section in my classic anymore. So I will take out those pages. And then now I just have, um, you know, I'm gonna take out these months as well because I'm gonna transition my work planner into a double, a twin loop coil, also from the Happy Planner. And I'm not gonna be using those months for my work planner anymore. I'll leave in June because I'll still be working on that. But now I freed up some space in this classic sized and I can take out the pages that I want to take out from my fitness, which I am going to be taking out these um, take out. I'm actually just going to take out the entire month because I like to work on the monthly view here. So I will take out the entire month of May and then pop this into my happy planner. And I'll put in the dashboards last. And let's see, so my budget, I am also going to be taking out the month of May. Oop, I thought I had a dashboard in there. So I'll take out my budget planner and pop in the month of May here. So now I have my uh, my budget section, really important that I keep on top of that. And then lastly, my meal planner. So same thing, I'm gonna just pull out the month of May here and the dashboards and the stickers. I'll pull out this as well. I'll pop in. I'll pop in the meal planner right after um, my fitness, because it seems natural to me to have it together. And then I can toss this. I'm not toss it. All right. So then I can pop in my bookmarks. So let me pop in my meal plan bookmarks and then my meal stickers and let's see the dashboards for my fitness so I'll go ahead and pop those in as well stickers and the last dashboard here okay so the last uh, thing I need to do is take out these pages. These are uh, my mini pages that I use for my YouTube stuff and I still want to keep them with me because I'm still going to be publishing while I'm away. Again, uh, I'm still working so it's just kind of like I'm working remotely but from my partner's house. So I want to keep these pages here. So I think what I'll do with this one is I'll just tuck it in to the middle of my planner just here like so and let me tuck in the dashboard as well 
there we go. Oh, I should probably put it up there. There we go. I hope that's not too weird. Yeah, she's a little thick in the middle, but that's fine. Okay, so there we have it. Then I have all of the classic sized planners that I want to take in here and my mini. And then I also have a folder holding my big pages. This is a little bit <laughs> scary to me, having them off the page like this. Hopefully they don't get, you know, messed up in any way. I don't think so. They'll just be in this folder in my backpack. And then I will take this, um, this planner and I will put her in my zip folio. So I'll take her like so. And... <laughs> I will just take this folder and the zip folio and that is going to be my planner set up for my trip to Austin. I'm going for a week. I'm still working so it's definitely not a vacation. Um, I will take you know some days off but uh, some days I will definitely be working so I do want to bring my work planner and um, just organizational stuff for those days but I also want to keep my budget planner and my fitness planner and my meal planner um, with me in case I, you know, want to write that stuff down. It's It definitely is a lot harder to keep, you know, keep all of your planners, you know, up to date and maintained when you're, you know, traveling or on vacation or things like that. I do like to bring them because I do want to continue to build that habit in me even when I am traveling. And there's definitely value in not, you know, being in your planner all the time and just taking a planner break. And I feel like, you know, if if I want to do that, I will do that. But right now, I really want to keep up with my planners. They make me happy. I, I find joy in filling them out. So I'm hoping that I will find some time um, or that I will be able to make time during my time in Austin to check in with my planners, even if it is a few days out of all the days that I'm there. All right, and I think we have set it all up. Um, I'm hoping that I have a great time in Austin. Definitely let me know if you are from Austin or you've been to Austin and there's anything you recommend me doing in Austin. I would love to know. I'm always looking for new things to do in Austin when I visit. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time here with me and my planner. I hope you're doing wonderfully out there wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.